This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Condelaria versus Blakely. You all have been in a long-term relationship and you're engaged, but your wedding plans are on hold because of allegations of infidelity. Mr. Yeah. Condelaria, tell me why this case has been open. Okay, Your Honor. Um, like you said, we've been together for uh, three and a half years, and I love this woman. Uh, she's the mother of my children, but I cannot be with her if she is doesn't pass this lie detector test today. Okay. Uh, I'm not cheating on you. She has been deceptive to me in, a, in the past um, for a long time. But that was in the long past. Time. I mean... This, I mean, I'm not doing it now. She's always on her phone, and then when I come home, I don't she never, never stay on my phone. She never has anything on her phone. It's all been deleted, you know? I don't delete it if I, I can't, I if see I can't where, keep it on it. I see where she's been calling her ex-boyfriend, and then... I come home, see where she's been calling him, and ask her what what's up with that. You know, she's, that was a oh, mistake. Was an accident, I didn't, I did not mean to call him. Huh? Only happened like you know once, not you know twice every day. You know, type. If of thing. I was talking and to when, him, I would have deleted and it. I, and when I see her ex boyfriend, he tells me she, he's been trying. She's been trying to hook up with him. So you've got all would've... these, all these things going on, and you're like, okay, I know she's cheating. This has been thrown yes, in your face. Honor. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel terrible, and I don't want to be with somebody who's deceptive and can't, I'm not can't be honest with me. I mean, honesty is the key to any relationship. So, I mean, that's why we're here, to find out if she can be honest with me. I mean... I have been honest with I've you. I've had all these, uh, these problems in the past with her about... I think she's lying to me and everything, and it looks really deceptive. All right, Miss Blakely, uh, you have been vehemently the whole time he's been talking, saying, it's not me, I'm not doing it. If I want to be with somebody else, I I do it. Tell me why you're here. I'm here to prove to him that um, I'm not cheating on him, that I love him, and, I mean, we got two kids together. I mean, why would I mess that up? Mr. Candelaria, is, is this just paranoia, or has she cheated on you in the past? Yes, Your Honor. She's cheated on me in the past. When we first got together... But I told you about her, it. I had to leave for about a month Oh, no, Miss Blakely. When I come back... You um, were treating me like crap. You know, really? She says oh, no, everything's Blakely. all right, denies everything. And for two and a half years, she doesn't, she doesn't tell me the truth about this until after we have a child together that she cheated on me. Two and a half years later. Two and a half years and later. And a baby's in there somewhere. And, yeah, and, and our, our child's six months old now. You know? Oh, my goodness. And two, two and a half years. Two Can and a you half imagine years. wondering? You, and you've been asking her, did yeah. something happen? Right. So he's asking her. And she's denying. And she's denying, denying and denying. And then he goes away and he's contacting her and she tells you, by the uh, way... And she tells me, this is how she tells me, we have a fight. And I leave, and she leaves, and then she contacts me on Facebook and says, oh, by the way, you know, uh, back two and a half years ago, while you, no, you while asked you was away, me I, that. I, I messed around with this guy, and, but it was only two mm. times. And that's how she told that's you. That's how I found out. That's how oh, you tell him. Via Facebook him two person. and a half years later. He wouldn't let me tell him in person. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't understand it. I, I can't get my arms around the notion of waiting two and a half years, and then, and then when you decide to do it, just, you know, I mean, you text, yeah, you know, you yeah. text, hey, pick me up some bananas at the at the grocery store. You, you text, hey, don't forget my dry cleaning. You don't text, by the way, I didn't want to thing, tell him two years ago. Oh, and by the way, it was only two times. Only two times, okay. It was only two times. So don't, I, I don't know, Miss Blake, that's rough. It is rough. And this so, is why... The, and this probably is the foundation of why right. you have that no trust. Because that you saw all, all those warning signs back at the time and she denied it right. and denied it and denied it and then it turned out to be true. And now you're seeing all those same warning signs again, I bet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. I've seen them several times. All right. Tell us what you're seeing now that makes you believe she's cheating. Okay. So we're at a... We're at a, a, a friend's house, right? And it's kind of a party going on there that night and... And she, she decides to go upstairs with her friend, female friend. Because you was treating and, me like crap. Okay, well, three hours later, she comes back da- downstairs. Well, uh, come to find out, there was another dude up there in another room, supposedly. I was not well, messing around with him. I was up there with my back friend. she downstairs, her whole demeanor done changed, right? So she ain't act the same way as she went up, as she was. Like, she's trying to hide something, right? So I, che- 
I say, okay, all right, you ain't, you ain't been doing nothing. Prove it to me. I take her in another room and tell her to show me her panties. Well, she pulls her panties down, and it looks like she's been having sex the whole time. I there. mean, really? I was... Okay, so you're at, really? you're at somebody's, at a, at a friend's house yes. for a party. She goes upstairs for three hours, mm -hmm. disappears mm -hmm. for three hours, mm -hmm. comes back downstairs, yes, and wrong. her whole demeanor has changed. Mm -hmm. And then he said, I'm gonna let you I want to see yeah. your panties. <laughs> That does not but, mean I was messing around on you, you up there. And when you saw her panties, it appeared, and I can only, and I, I hate to say this, I hate to say it. You got a visual in your head, I know. I got a visual. I'm going to need a long drink of water after okay. this. It's, it's burned into my head. <laughs> Why did he come up there and check up on me if he thought I was sleeping around? I mean, really? Because I can I, tell you, if I thought you were sleeping around, my butt be up there with them before three Ms. hours. Ms. Blakesley, your point is well taken. Right. Mr. Candelari, why did right. you go and stop because, what because he thought he was, was going on? Hold on, let something. him answer. I was testing her because I was going to say uh, what whatever. she... whatever. What? I was whatever. just planning on, waiting on her to come down and then, to, and then checking her, you know? Whatever. I mean, okay, Mr. Collar, would you let me disappear from a party for three hours? Let me just Supposedly find out. Supposedly she Not if I suspected you were cheating. I mean... We go to a party. We aren't like this at the party the whole time, moving around the room like that. I mean, we kind of work the room. You, yeah, you know, but talk to I people. Mean, I've never to been people. to a party and been away from you for three hours. I'm like 30 minutes, 15 minutes. To it. Right. The three hours yeah. is the party. At some point, I'm like, where is she? So I kind of look around and I might see you. You've got a, people, a group of people you're talking to and, okay, she's fine. I'm going about my business. So, yeah, I'm not sure it's been three hours and... If I suspected she was cheating, I wouldn't wait three hours. I'd be like, oh, wait, where is she? You know, right. if I had that suspicion. That's because he was guilty of doing something, whatever you were doing, and you wanted to accuse me of sleeping alone, around. I was alone, not doing nothing. Whatever. Knowing that she's just supposed to be up there talking to her friend. So what, okay. is there anything else that you've seen that makes you think yes. she's cheating Yes, now? Your Honor, yes. There was time and time again that I kept finding these weird bruises on her inner thighs, all right? <laughs> So we're getting intimate one night, and I brought a display. Can I just show you? Yes, okay. sir. This is, is your display? Uh-huh. Right. Please what step I saw, over. Um, all right, so we're getting intimate one night, and all right, we go to do this one certain sexual position that we don't, I, we, I don't believe we've ever done before. And I go and put my hands in, on her thighs, and lo and behold, my fingertips line up with each and every one of these bruises that are on well, her Well, then that means thighs. it was your, your hand I've right? never done that. you've never done that position before. So you... So you rough. I mean, come on now. It dawns on me that she's been having sex with somebody and they're leaving these bruises on her. How are you sure that those aren't your right. fingerprints? I mean, I mean said, if I the... know because I've been asking her about these fingerprints and we weren't having sex that certain way. It had to be in that same certain position and we hadn't had been I having sex. I have a bruise on me right now and that he forgot that he even done it. So you sure those aren't your fingerprints? I'm because positive. I'm his, positive his, my thinking points. is, if the fingerprints fit, you must have quit, right? right? <laughs> I mean, I mean that makes sense. I mean, he forgot they about this bruise. They weren't my fingerprints at all. I, I, mean, I, I never you, left no bruises on but her. You, but I have a bruise now and you don't even know what happened right there, really? Uh, oh, so what makes you think I will let somebody else put a bruise on me? I don't know. I well, think she was kind of doing it out of spot or something. I don't know. So, so here's cheating. my question, because everybody wants to know: Who taught whom this position? He. <laughs> then oh, you. Yeah. Then yeah. Him. I think it was her. Him. I think it was her. Because here's the deal: me. If she taught you and said, "Hey, grab me here, do this, do that," right. hold on. Right. Okay. Then Somebody probably told her. Yeah. Right, but if exactly. you were like, okay, let me grab you this way and put you no, this way. No. Mm -hmm. See, that, that was, I don't know how we got worked into that position. Him? But, I mean, yeah. really? Wait a minute. The good <laughs> ones don't. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we had never done that position before at all whatsoever. So, Ms. Right. Blakely, you don't deny that the bruises were there. You're just saying no, he put Honor, them there. No, Your I don't. But I just know it wasn't from having sex by another guy. All right. Okay, I think we've heard enough testimony. Yeah. And a doozy it's been, Mr. Cutler. Yes, it has. Here's what we're looking at. 
Mr. Candelario found fingerprints on her thighs that he says he didn't put there from the sexual position. Uh -huh. uh, she disappeared for three hours while at a party. Uh -huh. Upstairs, he couldn't find, didn't know where she was. And there was another man up there, and he believes that she was with that other man. Um, he's found her on dating apps, and she secreted with her phone. All right. Well, because there were questions regarding Ms. Blakely's activities on the phone, the court would like to call digital forensic consultant Patrick Seward, who has done a full investigation to determine, is she cheating? Ron, please explore Mr. Seward in. How are you, Mr. Seward? Doing well. How are you all? I'm Doing good. It's good to great. see you, sir. Good to see you. So... For the record, could you tell us what you did in this case specifically? Yeah, I did a full forensic analysis on Ms. Blakely's cell phone. This included searching uh, her phone for messaging apps as well as looking for any uh, dating apps, deleted messages, photos, or videos, or anything like that that might be relevant. Mr. Connellari has a concern regarding Ms. Blakely's ex. Did you find any communications between Ms. Blakely and this ex? So I did, uh, I was able to recover about 71 deleted, or 71 deleted text messages. Uh, what? Some of those deleted messages were exchanges between Miss Blakely and an ex. Um, the most was uh, the, the most recent was ten months ago. All right. Did you find anything else on Miss Blakely's phone? And it appears that Miss Blakely had an account uh, for a dating or hookup hook app mm -hmm. uh, that's where she's been in communication with other people. Um, I was able to recover really? 804 deleted emails. 107 of those emails contained explicit photos and videos and messages like this. Looking for some great sex. Those are those... Uh, no. That's not from me. No, no. no it's not, it's not from to me. you. No, no, it's not from you. These are to you. Right. Okay. But it's not me sending any out. Did you find any other? Yeah, there were additional ones uh, such as this one. Uh, seeking a discreet, intimate encounter ASAP. Look. He would get on these sites, make... Come on, now. But these are messages you've received, correct? But I have not made any outgoing. Like, okay. I have not been chatting with these people. But these are from websites that you were on, because I ain't that's been a... on no websites. Ooh. But it says to you. It doesn't say to somebody else. It's that's my email. to right. your email. Yes, to my email, which right. we've had this... Let me just point blank ask you this. You're denying that you have had contact or tried to contact anyone on, the, on these sites and have not responded to them. Is that your testimony? Yes? Yes, Your Honor. Well, to further investigate this matter, the court ordered a polygraph examination of Ms. Blakely, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort our private investigator and polygraph examiner, Michael Williams, into the courtroom? Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Williams, you asked Ms. Blakely, did the handprints Mr. Candelaria saw on your inner thigh come from having physical, sexual contact with a man other than Mr. Candelaria? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, bad. You <laughs> You asked Miss Blakely, since the start of your relationship, other than the two times Mr. Candelaria knows about, have you had physical sexual contact with any other man other than Mr. Candelaria? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? On this question, there was no significant physiological responses that I could determine, which indicated to me she was being truthful. Thank you very much. All right, Ms. Blakely, you look relieved yet angry. Mad, yes. Yes, tell me about that. Because he has treated me like crap. The way I treated her was wrong. I mean, 
And I'm sorry. I really do apologize from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I love you. I want to marry you. Oh. Will you marry me? Yes. Will you be my wife? Yes. Do I have to get out? <laughs> I love you. Like you. I love you and will always love you and cherish every moment that you get spent with me. Will you be my wife? Yes. <laughs> All right. You all have been knowing each other for 16 years and dating. You all have survived a hurricane together, but there's a storm brewing right now that could blow your relationship apart. Miss Ray, tell me why you've opened this case. Jay and I have known each other for 16 years. We've been together on and off for the last 10 years. Okay. And, um, you know, it's kind of like from rags to riches. He's now this big time realtor. He's very successful. He dresses well, and I've seen him grow into the man that he is today. Okay. Now, with that being said, I feel like he has outgrown our relationship. Uh... And I don't feel like I am a priority in his life anymore. Uh... And I feel like he's cheating on me with his clients as well. Wow. Mr. Okay. Bustos? Yes, Your Honor. I mean, I thought it was going good, and she made that left turn. Man. And says that she thinks that you're cheating on her. Yeah. She, what, do you, what do you have to say about that? She creates these situations in her head that aren't really going on. I tend to brush them off. Like, if I get a text message, uh, oh, who is it? You know, and just worrying about stuff that, uh, you know, I have a lot of stuff going on as far as, like, work to be focusing on arguing with her about some irrelevant stuff that's not even going on. But, Ms. Ray, you said he's a successful real estate person. Yeah, that's all I was going to say. I mean, a successful real estate person is going to get texts all day long. That's what they do. But not at 3, 4, 5 in the morning. Oh, oh okay. I have okay, well, that's different. That's a little a... different. Are you getting texts at 3, or five, three 4, or 5 in the morning? Yes, but I have a lot of uh, clients that are international from overseas and stuff like that, too. Oh, well, what he's saying matches up. I mean, he's successful. You're go I mean, he's self-employed, so you can't... I mean, you eat what you kill. If it ain't dead, you don't get to eat. Yeah. So you gotta take those calls. You gotta take those text messages, right? <laughs> and, and if he has international clients, they're on a completely different time zone, so it's 3 p.m. when they're calling him at 3 a.m. Yeah. Am I right? Yes, absolutely. But, uh, you know, I, I, I gotta think, though. I mean, Miss Ray probably knows the difference between how you react to a business text and how you react to a personal text. Is there a difference? Can you tell the difference? Yes. Uh, okay, see? Yes, Your Honor. Um, so, it might be an international client at 3, 4, 5 in the morning, okay? But an international client is not going to be saved in your phone as pizza place. Okay? Man. And, I mean, for example, it was probably about 3 a.m. He was passed out sleep, snoring. His phone is going off, dinging, ringing. I'm hearing all kinds of noises. You know, someone's obviously trying to call him, FaceTiming him, texting him, and um, they're sending smiley face, wink emojis, heart emojis, kissing emojis. This is a great pizza place. They sending out love. At, that, yeah. at all hours of the night. All hours of the night. Come in here and get some pizza. We love you. <laughs> you know, I like pizza as much as the next person. Man, me too. But, but it was... wh why is this pizza place, you know, right here at no 3 in the idea. morning? I have no idea. Like, she said it was 3 in the morning. I don't even remember, to be honest with you. Well, she said you were asleep. Yeah, it was spam. It, it was just... I get all kinds of weird texts with my With heart phone. emojis and Man, with kissy heart kisses. emojis, food emojis, you name it, they got it. I get it. But here's the thing. <laughs> this pizza place is saved in your phone. What kind of customer are you? What are you doing at this pizza place <laughs> that they send you heart emoji? Man, it also could be... I mean, I don't pay attention to it. I brush it off. You know, she makes a big deal about it. It's, it's not my concern. Okay, know? but that's the problem is that it's not your concern because it's her concern, and if you care about her, you should be concerned when she's concerned. Yeah, but... <laughs> Ms. Ray, you say that you think that he's outgrown you, he's a successful real estate person, he's outgrown you. Um, how do you think he's using that to cheat? So, my sister is an advanced planner, and 
Jay hosted a social networking event um, with her. And my sister did let me know that all of the women that were coming in there, which was, by the way, 95% of the people that were coming to this social event were women, okay? Oh. And uh, Jay got every single one of their numbers. Okay, I get it. That's not, that's no, 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 I get that's it. Not true. I get the hustle. I get you're trying to work. I get this is a networking event. Yeah, that's what you, you do at networking events. You want numbers and you want to get clients. Now, it went from professional to being Liddy in the city, people taking shots, girls sitting in his lap, he's getting kisses on the cheek, you know, and they just, no. they were getting wild, they were wilding out. It was it's, party it's, time. It's a networking event, and networking events, you get friendly with people, you take pictures, you drink. That's what you do at networking events, right? Yeah. I mean, especially if you're trying to build your business, you gotta be friendly. Mr. Color, you are not suggesting that. <laughs> A networking event goes from exchanging numbers, having a little conversation, maybe a glass of wine, to sitting on laps, taking shots. No, hey, yeah. You're not saying... You, you're not going there, are you? But as a salesman, you know, you got to give the people what they want. <laughs> I'll talk to you afterwards about maybe getting an invite to one of these uh, networking <laughs> events. But for the moment, I you, you know, I you. what kind of events are these? So, what we do is we collect people's information as soon as they walk in. Her sister walks in, and I'm literally at the front with an iPad getting everybody's name, number, and email so we can make an email list, send out through blast text email for other events and stuff like that. I was not picking up other chicks. And All right, wait, 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 wait. I got some questions. I got one question for him about trying to get an invite, but that's a different conversation. For us. <laughs> now, uh -uh, for us. Uh -uh. Yeah. No, for, no. For us. So, what I want to know is, were the women kissing on you? Not from what I recall. I don't remember, but it's like... It's, it's not like that. It's not... I mean, if they come what? in and they say... I'm Hispanic, so if they come in and say hello and I was like, yeah, they give me a kiss on the cheek, it's one thing. But I'm not sleeping with four girls in a bathroom in my own networking event. I'm a professional. Look at me. All right, you know? so you're saying that this did not cross the line, that you were being professional, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And that, you know, it may have been a friendly kiss, but you were not, like, making out with folks. No, I'm running, a, they, I'm running they... a very serious show in a very serious business. And I'm see, not gonna be... Because portrayed. the way Ms. Ray described it was, it started out like you described, but then it, it went to something else. It escalated as the night went on, and uh, the I'm drinks were flowing, and everybody's a little more friendly. Yeah. First of all, I don't... To the point where it was inappropriate. And are you, you saying it didn't get that far? I don't drink, first of all. So, I, mm. she didn't say that, okay? If I'm sitting there talking to people and somebody comes up and they're drunk and they sit on my lap and I'm like, okay, get up. And then if her sister's <laughs> like, hey, you know, these girls are sitting there, like, it's not me, like, you know what I'm saying, inviting them over in front of all these people running a very so, serious organization. So, 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 so Ms. Ray, your sister said something different. Mm -hmm. And she issued this video statement to the court about mm -hmm. what went down at this event. Let's take a look. I've hosted many events with Jay and his networking group at several of the places that I've worked at. The last event that I hosted, you know, the event started off with a really good group. They were all nice looking young professionals. Mm -hmm. And it kind of progressed through the evening from a networking event where everybody was there for professional purposes to, for lack of a better term, a frat party. Were you involved with somebody? I'm not in control over other people's actions or what they do. So, as far as being a frat party, that's not what it was. That's not what... The, they're trying to paint a picture like I'm just this guy who goes out and party. I'm a very serious guy. I'm about no, my business. I, I, I make my money and I pay for everything. Okay. But at this particular party, I mean, to the point where uh, are there women now coming up on your lap and sitting on you? Because you said you can't control yeah, what other absolutely. people are doing. So they're coming at you, they're sitting on your lap, they're dancing on your lap, they're kissing you, they're hugging you, they're doing all this stuff at the party. Man, I, yeah, after the drinks get flowing, I might be a little bit flirtatious, but it's, it's harmless, you know, it's business. All right, Miss Ray, let's take a look at what else your sister had to say. There was an instance before that where Jay had called me and asked me to sign for a package that he was having delivered. Lo and behold, the courier shows up and it's this ridiculously expensive designer bag no, okay. that yeah, he had me it sign was. for. Yep. I signed for it yep. thinking that maybe, you know, it was a raffle or something for the event that he was nope. hosting. And when he gets there, he grabs the bag, he ends up giving it to somebody who's not my sister. 
All right. Huh. True. Yes. A designer bag. Who are you getting? A ridiculously expensive designer $6, bag. Yeah. Yes. So it's a six thousand dollar purse. A six thousand dollar purse. Yes. yes. So what did you feel like when you were told by your sister he gave a six thousand dollar purse? Sorry, I can't even get that out. It don't even work in my vocabulary. Six thousand dollar purse to another woman. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Jay always has an excuse. He's always got a story for something. And um, he said, this is a client of mine. She makes me a lot of money and this and that. She's not and a client. And I get that, She's but a $6,000 bag is not a gift for a client. That's a girlfriend gift. That's a gift you give to your wife no, as an anniversary not. present. I can't wait to hear about yeah. this. Yeah, Mr. Bustos, I mean, you give clients like, you know, wine baskets, uh, no, you give clients, a... you know, things like that. You don't give them personal items like jewelry, purses, shoes, no, and things like that. Not for clients. No, you're absolutely right. This was my lender. We had literally closed on, I think it was like $5.7 million with the real estate in a month. I work my employees to death. So, yes, I rewarded her. You know, we had a great month. I bought it as a, like a gift. But oh. I give everybody else gifts too. It's not, they just focus on the perch because it's a girl. But I pay for trips, you know, for everybody to go out and get vacations and stuff like that. They never bring that up. It's just always with women. Oh, he's doing this, he's doing that. You know what I mean? But Mr. Bustos, client or lender is still a business relationship. Yes. And in business relationships, you send a nice bottle of wine. Yeah, I mean, if you if you are giving out six thousand dollar bag, that's not a lot of money to me. Oh, you okay? Okay. Well, okay. Can we, so, can you show me some property <laughs> so I can get my six thousand dollar bag? Yeah. All right. <laughs> see, see, to me, at the end of the year, at the end of the year, I write all this off anyway as a business expense. It's not just me handing out gifts hmm. to people for no reason. And so, this no. Is, so you do these networking events and parties on a regular basis, that's right? Awesome. Yes. Because that's how you build your business. Once every three months, yes. Well, you know, the court was curious as to what goes on at these parties, these networking events. So we tracked down someone who's actually been to one of your networking events. And she is going to come in. She's going to come in and tell us exactly what goes on. Okay. Ron, would you escort the witness in, please? Yes, Sean. Ma'am? I'm going to let her be a longer walk we're in gonna, here. We're going to go straight back to the witness stand. Yeah. <laughs> Ms. Ray, did you say don't let her be a blonde girl walking in here? I said let her be a here? blonde girl walk in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good day, ma'am. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. <laughs> Would you state your name, please, for the record? Jamie Hughes. Okay. Ms. Hughes, you know Mr. Bustos. I do. Okay. How did you all meet? Um, I met him six months ago at a bar. <laughs> Have you been to his events? His networking events? I have. Has he ever bought you an expensive handbag? Yes, he's bought me a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things? Yes. So not just an expensive handbag, but other items? Yeah, not just a handbag. He's bought me shoes. He even pays my rent. Plot <laughs> <laughs> So what is the nature of your relationship with Mr. Bustos? Well, we're dating. That's what I thought. <laughs> Are you intimate with Mr. Bustos? Yes? Yes. So you all are having a sexual relationship? We, we have a relationship, yes. So... It includes sex. An adult relationship, yes. Okay. We are together. Mr. Bustos, you have given Ms. Hughes gifts, designer bags, shoes. I give her whatever she wants. You paid her rent? Yes. Okay. You giving her your body? Everything. Well, she asked for it, whatever, yeah. <laughs> so you admit that you two are dating? Yes. Miss Ray? What, what gets me is that when it's just him and I, it's, I love you, I want to wife you. Like, he's there for me. He's been there for me for years and years and years. There was a time that I did not talk to him for four years. I left and I said, this is the last time. I'm not going to do this to myself anymore. And I left and I stopped talking to him. And then I ran back to him and it was the same 
<laughs> you know what I mean? And I just can't be lied to anymore. Like, I can't do that because when you tell me that you love me and I look at you and I believe you, I, I can't, I just can't. I can't, I can't buy the anymore. You just want your hose. You want your Bratz doll and you want your Barbie. And I know your type, dude. Now, Ms. Hughes, my question for you is, now that you've seen how he's treated Ms. Ray, do you even want to be in a relationship with him? Honestly, I don't portray myself as an, another woman, and I would have never pursued him had I known he was in a relationship. And I can barely even look her in the eyes because it hurts me that she's hurt. And I, I like... I don't think he needs to be in a relationship with me, and I don't think he needs to be in a relationship with her. I think he needs to grow up and figure himself out. And Mr. Bustos, I'm looking at the expression on your face, and I know what it is. You're like, okay, there's other women out there. No, that's there not are. it. I well, feel free. You feel free? Yeah, like... Let Not a weight on my shoulders no more. It's like, it's clean. You know what, Mr. Bustos? You're why good women have this baggage. Because you're leaving them with garbage to tote around. 